Street tonight. Neighbors of a Port St. Lucie neighborhood say they're really disturbed after police say they arrested a man accused of brutally torturing and killing a blue heron. Not only is the bird both protected at the federal and state levels, according to FWC's website, police also say this man killed the animal right in front of his own children. WPTV News Channel 5's Kate Hussey obtained the police report on this. She also spoke to a wildlife rehabilitation center today. She's joining us now with more and reaction. Here, guys. Skating by on Petunia Avenue. I'm just kind of riding around. Preston Lewis. In and around the area. And other neighbors. I don't know what happened. Surprised to see red and blue lights. Like five or seven police cars here the other night. It's on their street. Hey, no, it's in a good neighborhood. Even more shocking for them, the reason for the interruption to their quiet. Blue heron. Wow, I mean, those are beautiful birds. Police tell us that on Sunday they came here to Petunia Avenue to arrest a man named Eugene Fritz. They say his wife called the police station concerned for her and her children's safety after she said her husband came home with a live blue heron from a fishing trip, cut off its legs, brutally torturing the animal, then stabbed it to death all in front of their children. That is awful. That is... Nothing you should be doing to animals like that, and much less in front of children. This police report showing Fritz often kills fish intentionally in front of his children. His reason listed for killing the heron, he was quoted as being angry at it for eating his fishing bait. There's no reason that they should be harming these animals. They're not posing any threat to them. They're actually just in a body of water fishing and trying to catch their next meal. Unfortunately for Treasure Coast Wildlife Cindy Dion, I take care of all the violence towards wildlife and blue herons isn't unheard of for the nonprofit. You almost desensitize from it. FWC's website says blue herons are federally protected and Cindy says it's to prevent them from becoming endangered. They have to answer to the federal government. She hopes the story reminds us all animals need protection too. They have no voice themselves. And Preston agrees knowing the neighborhood he skates through isn't just his own. Unbelievable how someone could do something like that to just a bird. Give it a chance. I mean, they were here first. Now, I did speak to Fritz's wife today. She did not want to comment, but police say Fritz is facing both animal cruelty charges and child cruelty charges for the mental toll they say it took on those children. Reporting on the Treasure Coast, I'm Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5. One more note on this story. WPTV also reached out to FWC telling us they are working on getting an official statement to our station.